Greetings, bass lovers. Right, uh, in today's video, we're going to be going over um, lure vests. And now, as for fishing goes, um, it's, pff, it's a bit shit at the moment. I tell you what, the weather out there is absolutely blinding. There is uh, I mean, a cloud in the sky. It's been like that for a few days. But we've got this easterly. It's about 20 mile an hour. And it's just mucked the water right up. We, we did have one good day. On the first day, it, it sort of turned because... It has been pretty good, but there ain't been many fish out there, to be honest. There has been further around the coast. It's quite frustrating, but there's loads of people fishing there. We don't really want to, you know, not yet, not jump on their marks. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit, a bit embarrassing. The same as we don't really want them coming here. Not that there's any needle or anything. It just seems that people keep themselves in their own little place, you know, their own little manners sort of thing. But the other night we went to um, a noose, but there was nobody there, but it was uh, quite a yomp. Actually, you can see in the little bit of before, you know, a little bit before I start talking, you know, the bit of fishing there, you can see, actually look how far Bassman is ahead of me. He's about 200 yards. I haven't put the, uh, I haven't put the, um, the talking on it because I've got a bit of bad language on there, to be honest. Not that I'm that really bothered, but there you go. This is all about lure vests, so let's dive in. Right, the first little lure, lure bag is the uh, is this uh, single single uh, compart well single compartment for lures. I mean, it's got um, obviously other pockets like. You know, all single little pockets. The old uh, lure box obviously fits in there, like so. You can actually, you could actually get two in there. Look, you can that squeeze, but I've got to say, I've got to be honest, that you can get two in, but it does do up. The only problem is with it, if you want to take that many, I mean. I don't, I take more than that, but is it starts to split down the sides, but that that's not good. It's not designed for two, but I I just figured that out. But the only other the other um, bad thing about that is that it's a bit of a pain in the butt to get them out when you when you're out, you know, on the water sort of thing. It's also got a really really long strap. I mean, if you're going in the water, then I would say, you know, if you're up to you like you're wasting water, then I would say that it's not probably not the best bag to have. But it's still good if you're if you just you know quick trip or whatever. You're not planning on taking a lot of gear with you. I mean, you can get your spare spool in that in that little pocket, and um, obviously you've got your thing for your pliers on the side. You've got pockets at the front couple of little pockets there so it's got you know you can put plenty of things you can get in there but you know you've got nowhere to put a drink or anything not unless you hang it off a, an army bowl that's what i used to do but then it clanks around like anything when we when you're fishing you sound like a bloody one-man band clink clink all the time but um as like i say it's got a long strap in it the other thing you can do if you if you can actually clip that onto there and make the strap a bit shorter but you, you know what I mean. You can be bothered to do it. I can't be asked. I couldn't be asked to do that. Right. The next lure vest is the. Uh, this is my old lure vest. This is the Sakura. Now this is quite a good one. I mean, I use this for ages. So a good few seasons, but I found that. It's not the greatest. It's got a good. Uh, there's a little reel in there. Look, <laughs> it's um got a good rucksack on the back. So obviously you can put drinks and that if you're planning on going for a long time. Sometimes we are like we're going tonight. It's going to be a, a long session. Hopefully all things fit into place. Right, well, that's the rucksack at the back. It's for the pockets at the front. I mean, the problem is with these pockets. These straps are a bit sh bit crap really, but. It still does the job, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I used it for a few seasons. You've got the old lure box, you know. What I had to do is I had to cut these, um, cut the clips off my uh, off my uh, lure box so that it would actually fit in a bit better. So you, can see, you can see now that's a bit of a pig to get it in. But it does do up. Like I say, when you're out there, you don't want to be mucking about, you know, 
trying to get lure boxes and when it's on when it's actually on you it's it's uh even more awkward right so that's that bit done uh there's a little pocket there and the rest of this front bit you've got your plier bit for your pliers on the side and then this front bit so this is quite handy actually you can put all your soft plastics in this in this thing not really lures because what happens is if you put lures in with trebles on they tend to get hooked up on that and then you fight him trying to get the bloody thing open like i say you don't want to be mucking about but it's good for like savage gear eels and you know fish minnows and uh scary eels they all go in there absolutely fine even the albi snacks and all that if you if you're using them i quite like them actually and the pirates juices pretty good lures they are so that's the um that's the sakura uh lure bag not bad but not not the best not the best, definitely not. Right, now the last one. Now this is the one I'm using at the moment. This is the uh, the Daiwa lure, lure bag, lure vest. This is the back. It's got a good pocket on it, as you can see. Got a few things in there to take with you. But the main thing about this, it's got a, a buoyancy aid on it that would obviously help you. But, but I must stress, it's not a life jacket. But, you know, if you were to fall in and you was out of your depth or anything, it would give you a little bit of a chance. I, I wouldn't go near any water that's really, really out of your depth, to be honest. It's not really worth it. Right, as for the side pockets, as you can see, a little Soku tool there. You've got uh, pockets on the side. Uh, obviously you put your braid well I've got my braid thingy bobs in there and my, uh, my leaders and lure clips are in there somewhere I think hopefully somewhere oh yeah there they are little lure clips in there all sorted and then uh, obviously the lure the lure the lure box pockets absolutely great fit in a tree no problem obviously both sides You've obviously got room for other pliers and things like that if you what you want to hook on or whatever. I tend to not like to have them because they're the water, you know, things go rusty, do you know what I mean? Unless you wash wash the whole thing off overnight. There's a little pocket here that's got um obviously got my light in it and a spare spool. And there's another pocket at the top that you can clip that unclips and clips on whether you want it or not. I use that to keep my mobile phone in it, keep it nice and away from the water. I've done a couple of phones in fully fishing, to be honest. Right, same the other side pocket. It says the pliers hooked on to whatever. Little, another little side pocket. And there's another little thing here. Probably put keys in or something like that. I mean, I don't really like my way. I keep, you know, go and put my keys in my inside wader pocket and I drop them. They bloody go right down to your foot. Bit of a pain in the butt. I'll tell you what is it. Well, and I'm obviously thinking of safety when they did these checking. I can't even find it now. But it has actually got oh yeah there it is right in there there is actually a little whistle that that um obviously if you fall in the water not the greatest whistle but it's a whistle anyway might sound better when you're out to the water anyway so that's the uh dire vest that's my number one i'm well chuffed with that that is blinding that's got everything comfortable great straps on it just what you want you know that's a that's a different league i mean they're probably about probably 180 quid as opposed to that sakura it's about 40 quid but the difference is is immense do you know what i mean really it is and all that padding oh it's lovely anyway that's uh that's the diet will vest right and that's the end of the video um yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, actually, there was one other lure bag. I mean, I've, I've put the picture, you can see it in the picture, and that's just a, a little shoulder bag that I bought. But the good thing about that, that, that can hold the bigger lure boxes. I can get two bigger lure boxes, if really, just for a quick a quick session. Do you know what I mean? If not, if you're going in the water, though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it in the water, because you can't get out of anything in it, to be honest, but there is a picture of it anyway. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you uh if you hit that little notification bell you get the videos when they first come out um 
and also visit our website and get your free ebook if you if you if you want to learn about bass fishing it's, it's entirely up to you you know what i mean you might know it all already for all i know you might even know more than me that's not that's not hard anyway we're going tonight I had a good little session the other day i had a, had a had biggest one of the year i mean it's a little picture there you can have a look and uh what else is there anything else i can't remember now yeah well that's it then thanks for watching see you